Velocity Noodle is a precision platformer in a futuristic world. Just look at all the neon. The game wants you to feel like a speedrunner trying to find the fastest route through each level. But why? Velocity Noodle has a super simple reason to do any of this, to deliver noodles. It's right in the name of the game. You're a delivery person trying to make your way through a world trying to kill you. The story doesn't go much deeper than that. In this world, I'm not sure why anyone would want to deliver anything. Getting to the delivery spot, a mailbox, isn't going to be easy. You're up against spikes, saw blades, and lasers. However, you can dash, double jump, wall jump, ground slide, and teleport. Oh yeah, the main character has a floating sword that follows them around. You can throw the sword to activate switches or teleport through hazards. It's my favorite part of the game, and there's a smooth transition between the points. Velocity Noodle is a fairly typical, pixel-perfect platformer. Some of the earlier levels don't give off that impression, but later on it gets challenging. You do get one free mistake though. There are two points of health indicated by the heart and battery in the top left corner of the screen. I've been able to slightly abuse this and purposefully take damage to get through a difficult section. I imagine with some creativity, you could exploit it even more to get through a level quickly. Otherwise, there isn't much else to say. The game has very simple mechanics and a straightforward premise. And so you will be playing these levels over and over, trying to get the fastest time possible. Keep in mind there are no online leaderboards, which is kind of a bummer. So you'll have to compete with yourself and whatever times the developers set for the trophies. The trophies are broken up into gold, silver, and bronze, and I'm sure collecting all the gold trophies isn't going to be easy. For an extra challenge, you can collect chopsticks that are in hard to reach places. There's one hidden in every level, but you only have to collect it and finish the level. The time doesn't matter. Anyway, we need to talk about the game's slide mechanic. It's very difficult to use and feels slow. It doesn't fit well with the point of the game, getting through a level fast. First of all, if you don't slide under something, then it stops short. So you must start sliding right before the opening and it feels awkward. I don't prefer how it needs to be pixel perfect. It's difficult to find the right amount of momentum and the correct distance away from the opening, especially since the levels have an object very close to the sliding point, making it difficult to get the momentum. Uh, maybe I'm using it wrong. The second point about the slide is how slow it is. You're trying to keep this momentum going and pushing yourself to go fast, and then the slide cancels all of those feelings. Again, it's not my preference, and I want something that keeps the flow of the game more consistent. Speaking of going fast, when I play these games, my brain tends to focus on finding the path as fast as possible, and often it makes mistakes until I memorize the level. Now, that's probably normal, right? But I had a tough time on some of these levels discerning foreground objects from background objects. There are some objects that appear like they're sitting on the floor, but you can pass right through them. They're slightly darker than the real objects. It, for example, what I'm showing on the screen right now. I think it's easy to notice the difference here, but when moving at full speed, it definitely caught me out. One final thing I want to note are the hitboxes. Uh, good or bad, I don't know, but they're not super precise. It's one of those things I need to note in a video to be thorough. I think they're fine if you understand what's going on. Now let me slow down this clip so you can get a good look. You can see that I'm getting close to the spikes, but not actually touching any part of them. And yet I take damage. It adds to the learning curve of the game to understand how much extra room you need to leave. Overall, Velocity Noodle is quite a challenging precision platformer. 
Using a sword to teleport around is fun, but I do wish the slide was a little cleaner. I'm not going to lie, the game isn't perfect. I found it to be a little rough around the edges, especially noticeable since I couldn't get it into full screen. If you're into these types of games and aren't put off by anything I mentioned, then it seems obvious you should play the Velocity Noodle. Thanks for watching. I hope this informative video was helpful, maybe in some ways more than others, who knows?